Indian Commerce Committee, which deals with a lot of issues that impact um, Indian country, including health care, energy, uh, the internet, uh, so many other things. I'm just going to focus on three things that the committee is doing right now, because I know your time is limited. Uh, one is re with regard to the special diabetes program for Indians. Um, some of you may know that this is set to expire, in, was set to expire in September of last year, but we've been able to keep the funding going in the continuing resolutions uh, that we've been passing over the last few months. I don't have to tell you that, not in favor of these continuing resolutions. We need to do a larger appropriations bill, but because it's inadequate to just keep the funding going for this or any program uh, in continuing resolutions, but that's what we're faced with right now. Uh, but what we did is in order to deal with this longer term and not just have it continue for a couple of months, uh, we did a bipartisan, and again, everything I'm talking about is bipartisan. I'm a Democrat, but we work together. Uh, we did a bipartisan, lower cost, more transparency act that deals with hospital costs and transparency. And that bill, which passed uh, at the House last fall, a few months ago, uh, that actually would extend the funding for the special diabetes program and the special diabetes program for, for Indians through 2025 with increased funding, I won't say the amount, because we know how important this is. But again, um, we need to do that because we can't just rely on um, you know, month to month funding for the special diabetes program for Indians. And in case if some of you don't know what that does, I mean, it basically provides exercise program, physical activity, nutrition services, um, all kinds of uh, food and education and culturally, culturally relevant um, activities that help uh, with people that have diabetes. Now, the second thing I wanted to mention is with regard to the internet. Again, very important because a lot of Indian country is underserved in terms of broadband and the internet. And during my time as chairman of the committee in the last two Congresses, we established the Tribal Broadband Connectivity Program, which basically provide, and we did additional funding for it in the, uh, in the uh, infrastructure bill that passed in the last Congress. And what this does is supports the deployment of internet infrastructure, um, telehealth, distance learning initiatives. Uh, currently, the second round of funding is open and the Tribal Connectivity Program will make approximately $980 million available for Native Americans, uh, you know, for, for Indian country. Uh, the problem is, I mean, this program is really paying off big time, but the problem is that the FCC estimate that its funding will be exhausted in April, and so we need to, again, reauthorize and provide additional funding beyond April. And I, this is something that both Democrats and Republicans on our committee are determined and committed to try to do, so this does not end in April. The last thing I wanted to mention uh, is with the issue of mascots. Um, last year I introduced a resolution, and I've been very active on this, in calling on the Secretary of Education to work with Indian country to eliminate these racist mascots from our schools. And we have, and we have made a lot of progress on it. You know, and I know sometimes people come up to me and say, well, you know, what does that matter, you know, who cares? But it really is important, and I, and I think that it's even important that when you talk about these types of depictions and negative imagery, it even impacts non-native peoples. I know you may say, well, you know, what do you care? I mean, I happen to be an Italian-American, right? And one of the things that I've always worried about is that when my kids were growing up, you know, there were the stereotypes of us as being criminals, you know, organized crime, mafia, all that kind of stuff. It does have a negative impact say, psychologically, these, these stereotypes and these negative stereotypes. So I just again want to promise you that I'm going to continue with that effort as well until we get rid of all this negative imagery for Indian country. So thank you again. Uh, always a great opportunity to meet with you and work, work with NCAI. Thanks.